supposed to? What? You're supposed to do an intro? Yeah, you should. I mean, but you can say whatever you want. What? Go. What? Go. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? I got stage fright. I don't know what to say. I don't know quite what to do with my hands. I don't know. <laughs> Here a review. No, nothing. All right. Well, it seems uh, Saker Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw reached out to us, so we need to do a review on them. And we're gonna do the unboxing and show you all that. But then we have to stop the video and go and charge the battery and all of that good stuff. And well, we just opened it up and charged the battery ourselves, make sure everything was adjusted and done right. It's all in the instructions. Yes. Read your instructions. I don't know if it was a mistake of them letting me do this because I'm not exactly easy with my stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get some gloves on just in case. Hey, look at that. It stands up pretty nice. You like that durability? You're going to you okay? You're going to pee? Don't, what don't are you doing it. over here? Don't break it. It's actually a size I can use. That's what she said. <laughs> cut that out. It comes with destruction. You shouldn't cut anything out. Seriously. Nice. Comes, with a, comes with a couple of tools. Yeah, what are those for? What? Why is there a screwdriver and a, is this a 10 millimeter or whatever, tin socket? Oh, I hope I it's not a 10. Them. We'll lose it. Oh, uh, no. It no. doesn't look like it. It looks like about an 11. So this does so your this. chain. Don't do it. It should be good. Yeah, they loosen say. the nut there so you can keep your chain tight. It's got to be snug. See how it's snug yeah, just comes good. off. Barely, yeah. And yeah, and then you got your screwdriver to make sure you know you pull all your screws that. tight. Read your directions. That's what they're there for. Read the instructions. And then we've got some magical miracle oil. You're supposed to uh, you know lube up the chain between the bar. Can that's what it's what for. What kind of oil is it special? Yeah, it's bar chain oil. Don't that cut you? Huh? Why would it cut me? Could you just flip and grab the blade of the chainsaw? I got gloves on. Yeah, but it's just a little leather gloves. Gives you this cute little bottle, which in theory should last you forever, but it's probably going to go through about 10 branches. So we got a cuter, bigger bottle for later. And basically, what you want to do is hold it firm. Yeah. Figure out what the length is you're going to need. Keep, keep all your lines. I'm telling you. I know, but I need everybody here so that... Everybody knows how to cut it. Well, but then if I screw it up... And doing it the way you only are whispering to me, you're gonna blame me. Yes, and then I have reason to blame. You yes. can't. You can't even see what you're doing from the camera. That's not my fault. You gotta blame that on the person taking the footage. <laughs> you better get me correct. If you take it off, I'll hold it. Now what? Take two. <laughs> <laughs> what were you telling me? So, what you gotta do? Is firmly grasp your wood. Then you need to go, ew, don't do that. It's my pity. I got to cut that out later. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Sure. After firmly oh. grasping your wood and knowing how long it is, it's always important to know the length of your wood. Yes, because well, it's got to fit in your fireplace. It's got a nice little guard so you don't, you know, grab it and hold it. Well, let's not do that. You got your safety button right here for the thumb. Safety button for the thumb. Got it, the little push. Trigger. Ooh. Nice and easy. And then you want to try to keep it as close to here as you can. To the, where it meets. And just eat it up. Nice. That's actually pretty nice. Well, now we just have to see the durability and length. We ain't repurposing nothing. I'm still going to use that. Pool to hold our little piece of wood. That's still my pool. Then we'll cover it with plastic. And there's no high dives. <laughs> you want to try one? No, I want you to do that again. Why do you got to do it so close to your hand right there, though? Do I have to do, have my hand that close? No, I can. I mean, I'll go a little. No, not that further away, not closer. You gotta have leverage. Okay. Why do you gotta give me such a big one to do first? That's what she said. Uh, so you can firmly grasp your wood. But it's bended. That's right. That'd be bent. Wait. What I'm is afraid it? Is my hair's gonna get in there. That's probably not very safe. All right, long hair up and out of the way. <laughs> Mental note. Got a. 
all the times I don't have my hair up. I wear my hair back and forth. <coughs> Tuck it then in the it goes, holder. then it goes, then it goes. Wait, let me do that so that I don't accidentally rip my shirt in there like Oh a... my God, we're gonna have 90 <laughs> minutes of edited footage going on over here. It's a fashion show, hang on people. Stop, you're gonna make me pee, I'm afraid. Stop. Why you got camo on? We're not even gonna see you with the background. They're gonna be like, who's cutting the wood? They got a ghost. Action, take four. <laughs> <laughs> Push this push and that, squeeze, squeeze that. that. Okay. Push and squeeze. Hold actually, it's take three. Ooh, I don't think I can. Let's actually take You can put three. the little wrist thing on in case you drop it so it don't accidentally hit you. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Yep, for you, yep. Put it on there. It's good too if you're climbing trees and doing it. I don't recommend pruning lips oh too high up. So I have man hands, just so everybody knows. Like these are men's large gloves. Not really, she, her name's not Frankenstein. But <laughs> they're her hands. Okay, I'm just gonna do it once without nothing. Oh my God. Stop! Scare me! I don't believe you did that. <laughs> I swear to God, Sean. You shouldn't scary. swear, especially to God. Okay, can I do a little one? Is that big enough wood? Yeah, but I'm afraid my hand's too close. Okay. Go. Oh! oh, that's scary, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, you can I'm probably go just a, a lot a bit longer. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Are but I'm old? afraid my hand will be in there. With the, oh, hold it. Okay. No, no, a lot of bit you. longer of wood, not a lot of bit longer of space between your well, hands. Now I'm out of wood. Well, don't go that long for crying out loud. You can cut closer to the porch. The thing doesn't jump around. It's, it's going to be where you put it. It's scary. It's not scary. <laughs> yeah, okay. You just get nice and close to it so you can hold her tight. Oh, feels like I could just break this sucker. Break it. No, I don't want to. All right. Oh wait, I guess I'm supposed to put it on there first? Like this? That's dealer's choice. See, it's just, if you don't mind. Yeah. No, you it's can't, just, it's on my it's arm. It's okay. It's oh, just don't push right here Yeah. is the stopper for the wood so that you don't come too far to hit the guard to come in when it's uh, jumping. Uh, uh, See? Uh. So if you want to start it there, you can, but then if you're just cradling yeah, it to rock yeah, it right yeah, there yeah, versus yeah. just starting it. Now go right no. past the knot or before the knot, but not at the knot. Well, I don't want to do that. That's on my hand. Then it'd be right here, right at the branch. And then you don't have any more cuts on that one. <laughs> uh, it should cut that, shouldn't it? We're going to find out, Mama. I'm not scared no more. I'm a pro. Oh! You can fall, you just can't get hurt because we're shooting a video. There's no hospital time in the video. I was not falling. I didn't even trip. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. I can do it. I can do it. Is that too big? Nope. Here I go. So see, ladies, you don't need the man for the small wood. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> I'm making a pee. After I said that, I was like, oh. That, that didn't come out quite hot. hot no, it didn't hot. come out right. You know, I think it will. I think when that battery's dead, it's gonna stop cutting. It is. Oh, good lord, I swear. There you go. I feel like I have a purpose. Hey, Sean, you know they'll quit cutting when the battery's dead. They'll quit cutting when the battery's dead. No, that just means you gotta go back and forth. It's not power no more. You gotta, you gotta use like a handsaw. That's what your wife said. She goes, I guess it'll quit cutting when the battery's dead. <laughs> Maybe. But you said not necessarily. You go back and forth. Back and forth. Shut up. Just rotate the chair yeah. every now and then. You go, girl. Look at you. Don't make me, don't make me touch you. You have a purpose. 
like I feel like I can. You can actually help. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not so helpless. I think we need another one of them. Yeah. Like truly. They're laying. The strike is over. Hear them? Are they laying? Wheat music. We got an egg yesterday. Hear them laying? We got an Ooh, egg coming. So proud of you ladies. Thank you ladies. Because I've never used a chainsaw, mm -hmm. Ugh, I don't know, my is that it? Is that a good bee or a bad bee? I don't know. It's got mud on your face. This is not time for a mud thing. <laughs> my God, you got mud everywhere. How'd you get mud all over your face? God. I'm going to clean my child's face because you got mud. <laughs> oh, here, I got that. <laughs> Hang on, baby. We'll get that for you. Come here. Oh, me off. Here, take this wicked biter. You the reds. I'm going to get the mud off. Of it. Come back. Come back. Except when you used to grow. Don't no, make me watch this video. Yeah, it looks like I got caca on my face. No, you have not dog. Okay. Well, Mama, that's a war. I got dog. And I didn't even lick your face. <laughs> Sean always tries to lick me. <laughs> Only on days that end in Y. <laughs> so how do you keep them in methods and say how do you keep them from going? And that's what that little, that that's what just, that's for. You lay that's that against the, the tree. So I literally so should be saw, always having it on that part. That's okay. where the strongest part and the best tension of the chain because is. Because like that's the only right thing is like it is pulling a little bit that way, but I, yeah, I, I knew I was doing something wrong. That butt could be a little bigger in my opinion, but you're only using it for three and yeah, no more than three, three inches, inch, really. really. I wouldn't go any more than three inches. That's what she said. <laughs> Stop it! Cut it out! Another thing I noticed is that, like I said, I have big man hands, but they're long and skinny. Where if someone had, like Sean's, where they work with like, their hands all day and they get callous and swollen and, you know. That strap needs to be adjustable. Yeah, it needs to, it needs, yes. Adjustable. Yeah, with like one of them little... They're not expensive flugel bugle loggers yeah. where you push the button and you can slide right. it. Okay, so <clears throat> I just went to go out into the woods with Mom and Sean. He's out there working on a log with his chainsaw. And Mom goes, is this supposed to be this way? So I said, no, it sure ain't. So you can see just from cutting, the uh, chain has loosened. So it says two to three millimeters. It should stay tight according to the instructions. And to do so... <laughs> you use this, which is not a 10. I don't know what it is, but anyway, and I don't even know what it's called, but you put it on in here and I'm assuming righty tighty lefty loosey as in every bolt. So and we're just going to give it a little crank, a little crank to see, are we tightening it? Are we loosening it? So not doing a damn thing to it, am I? Oh, much better. So, let me get it to you. Wait, let me grab. Oh, no, don't grab that. That's a blade. But look, it's just got a little bit of pull. It's about what it had before. Looks good for my house. All right, Mama. Ready? Yeah, let's see what you think. Hold your wood that's on the thing harder. Lift it up to the next step and step forward so you're not bent over so much. The switch. There you go. Like I said, the switch could be in a different spot. Yeah. Even old people can use it. Uh, it ain't that old. Nice, right? Nice. It's now imagine if you had a table or something. So, a, are they seahorses? Saw so horses. Saw so horses. Set up to where it's at a more comfortable height for you. Right. Right. It would be perfect. It would be perfect. 
Because then you wouldn't have to bend over, but yeah. Right. My only... Yeah. What's un... I mean, it's very comfortable to hold. It's lightweight, but yeah. the actual button is in a bad spot. Yeah. Well, one of the things I saw on some of the other reviews was if you were left-handed. It's perfect. No, you see, they were saying it is left-handed. It wouldn't be. So you enjoy the left-hand feel. Yes. Even see the though button. you're right-handed? Right. Because see, the button is right there. Your hand pushes the button and you're able to squeeze it. If you're right-handed, it's kind of awkward. Yeah, you have to cock your thumb in more. Right. So if you have any type of joint ailment whatever it may be a little more difficult right yeah you have to kind of get your thumb up yeah see I, i've got that whole yeah double joint thing but even for the elderly it's perfect yeah it's yeah perfect. yeah because with my neck and the brackets and the issues I have, it, the weight of it and right. even the weakness, because I have no strength, I'm able to hold it. Right. And now that, and once you use to, it a little while, you can adjust. Like now I've got to where my thumb goes right on it. Yeah. Before yeah. I was trying to do it this way, but you, you just grab it. Grip yeah. It. Yeah. And, uh, and a comparative to a gallon of milk. Half a gallon. Okay. How much does a gallon weigh, Mom? Huh? How much is gallon away? 8.6 pounds. That's right. <laughs> I did not know that. That's right. Yeah. It's Love very it. good. Yeah. Love it. Very good. Good, 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 good. So recommended thus far? Recommended, yes. Yeah. Highly recommend. I give yeah. it two thumbs up. Oh, if I had hot. my shoes off, I'd give it two toes up too. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Ooh, like butter. Most of these are dead, but, you know, not that long. Hey, hey, go. Hey, Skippy. It's got to go in the fireplace. Here? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Be yelling at me saying, your wood is big. can't believe how big your wood is. It don't fit. I don't uh, need that kind of yelling. That's your face. I'm just saying. Still too big. Too I big can't do it no smaller. I was going to do this and cut, to get rid of this first. Cut, cut here and then there. And then that's the rest of it. Are you going to micromanage me? I'm Are you try, literally trying telling to, me yes. what to do while I got a yes. deadly weapon in my hand? Yes. Damn skippy, because you're afraid right, of it. Here. I ain't worried. Wait, right here? Right after the knot. Yep. Right here. Yep, that's here. fine. Here. Yeah. Ah, no, made me scared. See, you don't go away. You must firmly grasp your wood. <laughs> Not firmly. Oh, that's when you got to use that little stopper and put it up against it and let it rock right through. It'll eat its way right through. Woohoo! Look at me go. Put it in the pool. So what do you think of the little saw? Honestly, scary it's but not bad. Because scary but cool. Here's the deal. I, I will give it a thumbs up, two thumbs up. Say it's okay. Now we just gotta check longevity. So check yeah. the videos in about two months after me beating the living pee out of it. Right up out of it and using it to the way it should be. Get some pruning done on the acres and then yeah. we'll see how good it really yeah. is. I'm yeah. looking forward to using it. As far as me, it's kind of nice because I can't use the um, hedger clipper, hand clippers, or anything like that. Right. Because I'm not got the grip strength, so I can't just prune the trees that way. Right. And then I can't use the bigger ones to prune your trees because I can't hold my arms above my head. I can't use the even the pole saws if you take them off because they're too big because they're too heavy for my arms over my head because of my neck. So So it's I mean, the right yeah, it's the right like, size. Yeah, even like if you know you had arthritis or kind of up there in years, which you know we turned the big five oh but I, I mean, yeah I would I like Sean said I would definitely recommend it. I've never used one before. It's cool. It's, it's cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Yep. Well, as we said, initial impressions were two thumbs up from all of us, but time will tell. Thank you again, Saker, for sponsoring this video. More specifically, thank you to Saker BM Amazon store, who is the one who reached out to me. They have great reviews and lots of items on their storefront to choose from from Saker brand, including many replacement parts, as well as other tools offered by the company. I encourage you to check them out. What I really would do, though, is go ahead and purchase the larger kit, which really 
to me it would be worth the money after putting all of the items together and it would give you everything you need to do all of the pretty in the spring and fall for 2023. We sure hope that you enjoyed this video. Our crazy sense of humor and banter back and forth, that's just an everyday thing for us. We thought we'd be all natural for this video and just bring you along as we review the all and do some work around the farm. Please subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, as always, have a great day.